Part two has been long overdue. These are four different real life tools and I built all of them out of Lego. Let's check them out. The first tool is a sledgehammer. I basically use a bunch of different snot techniques to get the rounded look of the hammer's head. And I also use some snot techniques to get the handle. Now let's see if this hammer can do better than the last one. Next up is a hacksaw. I started out by designing the handle and I made sure that it could comfortably fit inside your hand by including finger grooves. But I wasn't able to figure out a good way to make the handle strong and look good so it's not really possible to hold it from the handle alone or else it'll break. Next up is technically not a tool but it's still cool. It's an oil can. I made sure the handle was strong enough to hold the entire weight of the can and I even included a working pump lever. I think this one might actually be my favorite in terms of looks. Last but not least, an adjustable wrench. This features a working worm gear to adjust the lower jaw of the wrench. Getting this design wasn't easy. I did use a lot of techniques from this design by Veracoca. I really hope I pronounced that right, from 2014. I basically took the head design and modified it to what I had, and then I made a couple of changes and slight improvements to make it run a little better. And I also took the same head attachment system and just adjusted that to what I needed. All in all, it looks really cool, but it's very fragile, and if you push too hard, you can easily pop the head apart. So there's four different real life tools built out of Lego. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna check out part one, there's a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.